Okay, today we're going to be talking about operator overloading. So, we have so many operators right now, minus minus, plus plus, and comparison operators like equal to, and not equal to, and plus, uh, these are arithmetic operators, plus, minus, multiply, division, and those kind of things. So, if you want them to implement on our custom classes like this, my class plus plus then we have to use operator overloading which is a C sharp feature by now so it is, it is a very old feature right now so I'm gonna implement it right now so let's get to work so first of all you need to create a class public class number and I'm gonna make it simple I'm gonna have a really simple property which is known as value and then I'm gonna create a new number right now a is equal to new number value is equal to 15 so this is a number with 15 value as an integer so next I'm gonna implement the operators for this number class so it can be it is really easy so you need to have static methods like this static number operator plus plus number a and this is going to be return a new number which is value is going to be a dot value plus one the next thing i'm going to implement is the minus minus so let's implement that too and okay let's console the right line a dot value for the first time and then i'm going to in increment this and next i'm going to do this again and I'm gonna a minus minus a minus minus and then CW a dot value again. So let's run this. So as you can see the oh sorry, I have a little bit of mistake right here. This is gonna be minus for the value to be correct. So this is gonna be 14 right now. So as you can see you can you can understand the concept of operator overload by now. So I'm going to uh, do another one. That's plus public static number operator plus. And this can have two arguments for this. It's number A and number B. You can name it whatever you like and you're going to return a new number of value is going to be A dot value plus B dot value. So I'm gonna create a new var b equal to new number value is equal to 25 and then I'm gonna create a new number c is equal to a plus b. So if you, if you hover your mouse over this plus sign you can see this operator is number dot operator plus which is requiring number a and number b as arguments. So this is number a and number B so let's console the right line see the value and let's see that as you can see the number is 39 so 25 plus 15 no 25 plus 14 is gonna be 25 because I have reduced this so that's extremely correct by now and you can implement this again for minus sign like this and now it's successful that you can use it really easily but c is equal to a minus b console the right line zero value now i'm gonna run this again for the last time and this is gonna work right now that's 14 minus 25 which is gonna be 11 so thanks for watching guys subscribe to see more videos like this and learn more about c sharp programming language and intermediate you can see many intermediate tutorials from c sharp python and uh, many other programming languages in the future so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video